The male snozzle nauseum chick magnetium bird of paradise. Male? You mean that's the boy bird? Look at his tail! And that beak! How does a bird even get a beak like that? Well, that's a good question. And the answer is sexual selection. Oh, no, 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 not like that. It's a process of evolution. You see, the birds of paradise live in, well, paradise. They have plenty to eat and very few predators to eat them. How do they get fancy from that? Well, since they don't have to worry so much about eating or being eaten, life is less about survival of the fittest and more about survival of the sexiest. So a bird that isn't fancy will die? No, but only the fanciest males will attract females. And the more females attracted to a male means more... Uh, more fancy babies. Correct. More males that look like him and more females that choose like her. Oh, I get it. Sexual selection. Because the girl birds select the fanciest boy birds. So their babies will be fancy too. Exactly. Sexual selection means choosing mate to keep your offspring looking great. That's right, folks. Sexual selection is why the birds of paradise look like they do. But have you ever wondered how it works? Well, visit part two later in the exhibit to find out. The male snozzle nauseum chick magnetium bird of paradise. Nice beak. Oh, hello again. Hello. Now that you have met the birds of paradise, do you have any questions? Yeah, I do. Do the beaks keep getting longer? Why are these in my backyard? How do the girls know which boy to pick? Why are the girl birds as colorful? How long did it take to get this fancy? Can they evolve laser eyes and titanium armor? Easy. Uh, let's take this one question at a time. First, let's go back and visit this fellow's ancestor. Uh, nope, further back than that. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's too far back. Okay, now, do you see the difference? Yeah, his beak and tail are shorter. He's not fancy. Correct. It took about 20 million years of generations of females choosing elaborate traits to make our bird look like he does today. Cool! So in another 20 million years, these birds could grow laser eyes and titanium armor? Uh, no. The males must already have the genes for those traits, and the females must choose them. Well, okay. But how does being fancy help him survive? Remember, they live in a paradise with few predators and a lot of food. Life for them is all about attracting mates, so their genes will survive in the next generation. However, if the birds were in a different environment... You mean like my backyard? Then survival of the fittest would matter more. All their extravagant traits might just get them gobbled up. So the boys get all the fancy stuff, and the girls just get the boring stuff? Well, the boys may get to wear it, but the girls pick it out. Remember, it's the females that choose which traits get passed down. Well, how does she know what to choose? That's a good question, and the answer is we, we don't exactly know. We do know that females inherit preferences. You mean the girls are born liking fancy stuff? That's right. The female birds of paradise pass down their likes and dislikes to their daughters. And when those females choose newer and fancier males over and over for millions of years, the male birds end up wearing some pretty interesting things. So there's no chance the girls would choose lasers or titanium armor? Not a chance. Ugh, oh, that's too bad. I'd like a snozzle nauseum chick magnetium bird of paradise in my backyard. Ah!